Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. I've already prepped and primed all the nails, placed the tips on, and we're ready to start this application. On three of the nails, we're just gonna put a thin coat of clear acrylic. Just because I don't want it to stain the natural nail when I apply my mix that I'm about to use right here. It's three different blues I mixed together with some very fine glitters. It's a really pretty color. So three of the nails are gonna get a thin coat of clear acrylic and then this blue on top. And um, the thumb's gonna be a little uh, triangle because we're gonna have some negative space going on there. And then two of the nails are just gonna be plain clear acrylic overlays because we're gonna polish those two. Alright, so on this nail, this is the one we're going to do the diagonal, um, we're going to put like a little triangle here, because this is where I'm going to put the striping tape um, in the end. So this is just going to be, the top half will be this blue acrylic, and then the bottom half will go like a triangle, and then we'll have some clear. And then I'm going to go in um, with all the nails that, th that have blue, I'm going to cap those in clear acrylic and for this reason I cap my colored acrylic always. I don't use my colored acrylic for strength I just use it for the art, the for color. The clear is your strongest acrylic and that is what I use for strength. Plus you can buy those in big quantities. Your colored acrylic you can't. So what's going to happen is if you do a full set with the little jar of colored acrylic that you have one full set it's gonna be gone so you wanna just use your colored acrylic in a thin coat just for your art and then you wanna cap in clear that's gonna be your strength and that's where you can use a lot of your clear acrylic because you can buy it in a big quantity and you're, if you understand what I'm saying with the colored acrylic you, you know when you go to buy those they're just little little jars you can't really get them very big so always remember use thin coats of your colored and more of your clear because that's your strength anyways and I I'm capping the nails here you guys know the process of how I'm doing it and I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest not to talk too much in this video because I'm getting sick and I my voice keeps cutting out and I'm losing my voice so but just watch here and I'll inform you guys when there's something you know that I feel that I haven't told you guys All right, so here I'm pinching all the nails, and then I go in with my hand file, my 150-150 grit, and I didn't even need to use my drill bit on this set, so I just filed, hand filed to put them all into shape. I buffed, and then I got my cherry alcohol, like always, and I got my scrub brush, and I just scrubbed all the nails really well of all the dust and debris to get ready for my 3D art and my gel top coat and our striping tape. I also wanted to say that in the comments there's some I cannot answer back to. I can't reply back. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you see that I haven't replied back to your comment, it's just because I can't. I've tried. And it lets me do a thumbs up, I guess, so um, for a like. So I will do that. Um, I do the thumbs up, but I can't reply. So just so you guys know, if you see I haven't replied to you, I have tried.
just so you guys know, when I did this set, I didn't have um, a towel or any paper towels underneath just for the video. I felt you can see more um, without the white background when I was doing this set, so I just didn't put that. But usually I do, I always put a towel down. I just wanted to mention that because we're on the internet here and who knows, somebody might say, oh my gosh, she didn't do that. So I, I, I you always use that, I promise. Just felt that in the video, you'd be able to see me this way better. All right, so here's our striping tape I'm putting on. Um, and then remember I told you guys, it doesn't really stay for me when I do this. So I get a thin, um, my brush on glue, and I just brush it over the striping tape to let it secure there for as long as it can. So I just use the glue, and then I do a three, three petals here for a flower, and then I'm going to put a Swarovski crystal in the middle. Alright, so here's the two nails I polish, and that's going to be the middle and the pinky. And I use white, and it's from, it's from Young Nails, it's the caption polish. So two of the nails get this white polish, and then I use their matte top coat. Alright, so for this nail, I'm going to do some 3D flowers, and I'm going to do three flowers going along by the cuticle area and down the side. I'll do three little flowers. Alright, and on this nail, I'm applying striping tape too, even with the matte top coat, and I still apply my glue over it. And if I, if you see anything, you could just put some ma another matte top coat right over the glue, and it'll go away. And I'm a, I put three little crystals on top, and then I'm just using my gel top coat, and for this set, I'm using the finished gel from Young Nails. So for the pinky, we're going to put some glue, and this is going to be covered in crystals, Swarovski crystals, and pearls, all on the pinky. Alright you guys, here's some final results. 
and I really hope you guys liked it. And I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. And I hope to see you next time. Well, that worked out, right? I wasn't supposed to talk that much because I was losing my voice. But I wanted you guys to make sure you understood everything. So that's why I talked a little bit more than I wanted to. 